Hey there, so we're gonna go through a few tutorial parts here today. This is the world that I've created so far in Unity. It is a small room um, with some lighting around it. This here is my player and a bench and this is going to be a door later on, all named appropriately in the uh, hierarchy right here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to add a trigger area around my bench to bring up a canvas. So very quickly we can do this in a variety of places but I'm going to do it just in a 3D object. A cube. Just so that it encapsulates everything that I need. There we go and I'm going to turn the render off. So this area now is going to be my trigger area. Bench underscore trigger. All right, there we go. <coughs> awesome, so I'm gonna have to click is trigger because this is a trigger area. And we can now start to make a canvas. So right click under UI, I'm going to get a canvas. This is gonna be for an E prompt underscore canvas. So the E prompt is just going to say press E to interact. E prompt canvas. Right click on the canvas, under UI again, I'm going to add some text. This text is just going to be the E prompt underscore text. Awesome. So we'll double click on that so we can view it and we can see it's right there, quite small in the middle. We'll make the width quite a bit bigger, the height quite a bit bigger, and the font size quite a bit bigger. Uh, maybe not quite that big. Text will say press E to interact. Um, in fact, I might just make it a bit thicker. Oops, 700. And I'm going to float this right in the middle and change the color to white. There you go. So when I play my game, this canvas is going to show up on top of my screen. At the moment, it's constantly going to be there enter into our game and my canvas is now on the screen. It's constantly on the screen so we're gonna have to add a script so that it only shows up when we're near the bench or inside the trigger area. Alright so e prompt canvas I'm gonna turn off the canvas option so it is now hidden and zoom into my trigger. Alright so I'm going to add a script to my trigger and it's going to be um, show Prompts. It's going to be a new script, create and add. There we go, and I'll double click on it and it'll open it up in Visual Studio over here. Now ePrompt is going to have these two, uh, two voids, sorry, start and update just like everything. We're going to need a couple things. Firstly, we're going to need access to Unity's UI system. So I'm going to have to say get access to Unity UI system and we do that by just writing using Unity Engine dot UI. So now we have access to the UI commands. We're going to need to access a few things. Firstly we're going to need a public Canvas, this is going to be a reference point to my E prompt canvas that will set up in Unity. Alright, we do not need the start void. Uh, we'll get rid of the update as well for now and we'll just make it nice and clean. Alright, I might just write a small comment. Um, the canvas that says Press E to interact. Awesome. So when we enter the trigger area, so void on trigger enter, there is going to be a collider that has entered the trigger area. Collider. And this, this is going to be the thing entering into the trigger. You would use a better name than this, but this is the thing entering the trigger. We want to check if the thing entering the trigger 
dot tag, so it has a tag, is equal to player. Back in Unity, my player object, if I click on that, has the tag up the top that says player. So I'll be able to check. It is the only thing that has that tag currently. So I'll be able to check if this thing is in it, this trigger area, because that's where I'm adding the script. So if it has the tag player, then firstly I'm going to write debug.log to confirm that this works. Player is by the bench. But more importantly, I want to get this canvas, um, what I call e prompt canvas, and I want to enable it. So I want to set its enabled value to true. Show the e prompt canvas. Let's save that, control S, and go back to Unity. So e prompt canvas here currently has none set to canvas. So it wants a reference to a canvas. It's got nothing so far. We could either click on that little dot and then select it, or alternatively, we can drag a canvas over from here. Now let's quickly play it. We should see two things happen. All right, so once it loads, when we come into the trigger area, we see both the, uh, firstly, the canvas shop on the screen, but also down the bottom, player is by the bench. I've left and gone back, and every time I do enter this trigger area, I get that message. Now, I want the opposite to happen though. When I leave the trigger area, so I would set up another void on trigger exit. And once again, it's going to need to check on a collider. And this is going to be the thing leaving. If the thing leaving has the tag that is equal to player. So if the thing leaving is the player, then we want to hide. Oh, well, firstly, we'll debug.log, good practice. The player has left the bench. We just want to hide the e prompt canvas. E prompts canvas dot enabled equals false. Let's go back to Unity. Eh? So I've walked up just like before, enabled it, disabled it, and every time I do that, I go towards the bench and away from the bench, the canvas shows up. Perfect. So that is our first um, small tutorial.